All right, so there we go. Let's actually enter a valid email. Well, let's first enter an invalid email. Let's do anything here and anything for the password. And then this should return that this is not valid, of course. So let's click on login. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Fuck. <laughs> Runs sorted by date, not that one. That's the only thing we don't. Um, <laughs> First, we want to make some changes to the x axis of that bar chart. So we use bar chart dot x axis. What? Bar chart dot x. because we are inside of our project folder and that file is inside of that project folder. If you choose a file inside of a subfolder, then this won't work, then you need to navigate to that folder first. But like this, it will work. And if we now press enter here, And you just always need to zip your whole project. So you back up your whole project every time for every single change. Even if you just change a single line in your code, then of course you could just um, back up that single file, but have fun getting that together later on. So what you're going to do is just to back up your whole project. And then for a single change in your code, you will back up your whole project. And I think I already said that you back up your whole project. <laughs> So this is basically what this video will be about. What happens if you destroy your code? How can you go back to the point where things were still working or how you can just undo your changes? And that is what with, with which with which <laughs> I'll leave that in guys. And that is with which and that is with which I will I want to start. And that is with which I want to start. Can you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>